Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to some Hearthstone. So in today's video I want to get back into Hearthstone for like the first time. Uh, I relaunched the game. My main interest is seeing if it's possible to get back into some Hearthstone, to enjoy some Hearthstone without, without needing all the cards from like the latest expansion and things like that. And the first thing that I noticed here, the solo adventures. I've been doing some dungeon runs, haven't been able to complete one. Uh, but these are a lot of fun. So let's go over these because I think basically I am a little bit tired of Heroes of the Storm of the Daily Quest grind there. So now I want to see if I can have some fun in Hearthstone once again. And I think questing uh, for the arena and then running some dungeon runs uh, can be a fun way to enjoy the game as well. So let's do a dungeon run and let's get started. Let's see what this has to offer. We start off against a giant rat. Um, I've tried Shaman, I've tried Paladin, I've tried Druid and Priest. I think that's what I've done so far. Hmm, what should I take then? Could try Warrior. Can be interesting. Could try Warlock. Let's try Warlock. Yeah, alright. Let's play with Gul'dan and let's see if we can actually uh, finish this adventure. I've never managed to kill the final boss. So here we go against the rats. Gul'dan versus a giant rat. And we've got corruption. So we've got dark iron dwarf. It's interesting. Imp Master, I like it as well. But none of these are really early drops, which you'll need uh, for the very first fight because they like, have hardly gotten any HP here. So ten, and we've got fifteen. So let's. Uh, that's good, right? Void Walker. Let's definitely. Start out with this baby. Even if he uses rat race to summon two one one rats, we should be okay. No, nope, he actually goes for a stone tusk boar, and he suicides it in. All right. Then for me, I'm going to dig. Uh, tree drop. That's good. This against uh, the rats is a good idea as well, I think. So we've got options here. All right. Drain life, that's good too. Let's start with this. And we get a corruption. Then let's do this and let's actually dig some more. Uh, I am running out of cards. Oh, so that's a tiny little deck. Okay, first time that I really uh, bump into that here. So a slight mistake here of uh, playing so defensively. Um, after you summon a minion, deal one damage to a random enemy. So we've got a 50-50 chance. I think we'll do that. And we'll do this. Ah, too bad. Then we'll go like this. Uh, and we will take some fatigue damage. But just to clear out eight more, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I hope so. Uh, we can also drain life. That's true. And he goes full out, uh, trying to fill the board here. But of course, we get two damage, two damage, and then we can just use this one. There we go. Problem solved. The first fight is generally not that hard. But you can see here, you can make a mistake, like keep drawing as uh, Gul'dan and uh, run out of cards. So this is really cool. Choose a treasure. Hmm. Pass if your battle cries trigger twice. Pass if your minions that cost five or more. That sounds really powerful. And pass if enemy minions cost one more. I think that's really powerful as well. But your minions that cost five or more only cost five. I'm going to take that. The scepter of summoning. That means I get this early on. I can I can focus on, on grabbing like really big guys here. Um, so that's a... A uh, Satoon and a Doom Caller. That could be interesting. We also have the Reno Jackson. It has no duplicates. Full he heal. Okay. Um, that's okay. And then here, deal three damage to all other characters. Deal one damage to all other characters. Those are battle cries. And then Death Rattle recruit a demon. So here I would save some, but I think I'll, I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, get on the uh, Sedun, which should only cost five. I've never even played him, so but let's take it. <clears throat> Next up, we've got Frostfur, and his power, hero power, freeze a minion. Okay, let's get going. 
Uh, he freezes minions. One. So that should be okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, corruption, mortal coil, and doom guards. I'm actually gonna gonna look for a drop here. What have we here? So that's okay. That's okay. And then this one should become a five. Am I right? Yep. There we go. Oh, that, that is cool. <laughs> that is pretty damn cool. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't have an annoying one drop. Then we'll. He does have an annoying one drop. Okay. Um. We'll we'll take the uh, knife juggler just to get things going. Let's see if he ignores it or not. No, he actually kills it. A one one draw cards. We'll go with the master, of course. Like that. I think that's okay. There we go. That we want that to die, but we've got to drain life, so that's good. And then we can suicide this. Okay, nice. So we'll take this, thank you, and we'll take this, we'll play you, and look at that, this is now a 5 drop, that's crazy. So potentially I just need to get through the early game, give your Satoon plus 2 plus 2, wherever it is, if it's dead, shuffle it into your deck, holy, that's nice too. But uh, he might also be able to, um, to freeze it. All right, but uh, here we go, and then the Satoon is now a five drop as well. So let's do that. Deal equal to this minion's attack, randomly split among all enemies. So now he's an eight eight, and we could we could just drop him next. Eight attack against everything this early on in the game. That's pretty crazy. It's an arcane explosion. Okay, and then he freezes him. But yeah, we'll just we'll just drop the Satoon next. Up. Unless this at the end of your turn give your Satoon plus one plus one. Hmm. You know what? We're just gonna drop it. He's down to the final five. That's a six seven. We could try to corrupt that. Ah uh, well, let's just go like this. Goodbye. Problem fixed. So, okay, definitely a very interesting power uh, early on that uh, I have not come across before. So I could go with another Satoon here. That's a 10 drop that becomes a 5 drop. Um, this could be interesting. Then we've got Malganis as well. Start of your turn, Bloodworm. That's not so good. So it's either this or this. Hmm. Whenever a friendly minion dies, give your... Okay. That's interesting too. With the divine shields. <laughs> this is interesting as well. Your hero is immune. Potentially, but the second Satoon is nice too. We're gonna we're gonna go the Satoon route on this one, I think. Uh, let's see if it works out. So now I have two of those, so you can get some really crazy decks uh, depending on what rewards you get from this uh, solo adventure. I love this. This is actually very enjoyable. So next up, we get. Uh, I think he evolves his own creatures. Was that what he does? Your magic finds no purchase. Um. Well, we need that early game, so let's keep this. And so this was... Okay. That's somewhat alright, I, I think. And put a counter spell. Oh, okay, no. So it's not what I thought it was gonna be. Put a counter spell secret in the battlefield. I'm okay with that. Uh, if he doesn't use it now, that's perfect for my mortal coil. So we'll do that. Absolutely. There we go. And there we go. Doomcaller is back in play already. Pretty soon. Um, and now I don't have any spells. So this is not bad for me. Well, I do have corruption coming out. But we'll go with the Imp Master. It's pretty cool. Then we'll... Uh, this turn only. We'll see if we need it. 
Well, we might want to clear that out, so we'll do it. Uh, best way to go, probably like this. And then we got the Satoon coming in as well. Uh, which, of course, I have two of them and only eight cards in the deck. So chance is high that he would show up, of course, at some point. A 4-5. Okay. At this point, he would do six damage split up. That would be maybe good. But I think a 7-9 um, is pretty good too. Maybe I should try to stay in control. Um, well, I got so much more HP actually. We'll just do this. There we go. Let's see. Rock Biter weapon. He goes up to 7. Is he gonna go after this guy? Nope. Actually, okay. A little bit of a weird choice, but fine by me. Uh, do I play this? Got Drain as well, so we could out go. Oh, that's true. I forgot about the counter spell. My mistake. Uh, so let's do this. Then let's do this this so maybe i only need to sacrifice one of them nope I, let's bring both of these down seven damage there we go dampen magic that's fine what you want two two taunt that's not gonna stop me and giving him weed fury is not very helpful at this point so out comes Sadoon. let's see what he decides to do He just kills everything. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Okay, alright. Uh, I feel in the better position than I ever have with uh, with this so far. Choose another treasure. We've got the Rod of Bo of Roasting. Uh, only the minions. Hmm. That's... Actually, this sounds really good. Recruit three minions. Shuffle both decks together. Yeah, we're gonna take this. The Horn of Scenarios. Recruit three minions. Uh, that can be really useful. The Molten Giant. That only costs five. I think that's how it works. Chromagus that costs five. And then uh, cards you draw from your hero power. Holy hell. Yeah, all right. Well, huge hand. Uh, we, we just have to. Considering the Scepter of Summoning, I think. If K. Um, this generally is definitely a pretty easy fight. Uh, she doesn't do anything until she has a full hand and then she drops lots of giants. But um, let's see how it works out. Um, so, do we keep this tune? I'm actually going to dig for uh, something to drop uh, early on. Because you do need to take advantage of the fact that she does nothing early on. So we've got the tree drop. Let's hope that that's good. The corruption is not very useful. Uh, oh, and then the horn of scenarios. Okay, so gotta skip this one. But let's hope that we can get to work on this. Recruit three. Oh, all right. There we go. <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, that is uh, not bad. Turn two and we've got 13 damage and uh, 16 HP on the field. <coughs> and so she's not going to do anything until she has 10 cards, I think. So eight. That's uh, pretty crazy good. At the end of the turn, Satoon gains 1-1. One, one. He's now a 7-7. Seven, seven. And I could play him in two turns if he would uh, show up. That's that's nice. Uh, all right, Doom Caller next. It's coming. We'll do that as well. Not that we need to worry too much. Elm of Scenario uh, scenarios was definitely the right pick here. And we've got a Hellfire, of course you play this. And then we'll go like this. I will just finish it off. So what happens is, if she gets 10 cards, um, she starts to play lots of big minions. And her power, I think, turns everything into zero cost cards or something like that. Or one cost cards. So not exactly sure anymore. Um, I triggered it once, but I managed to get through it then. Okay, so we got another Satoon. Uh, if we want to, we got Sylvanas as well with some power overwhelming. And that just 
uh, the tiny stuff. So I think we'll just take a third tune on this. I think. That makes most sense, yeah. You probably don't want the potions he's uh, hawking. Okay, hero power, craft a custom mushroom potion. So, not really that much that you can get prepared for. But three stuns that cost five. I'll take it, I'll take it. Gul'dan versus Mush Hockster Max! Um... Your soul shall be mine! Cards you draw from your hero power costs. I want to keep... Do I risk keeping those? Maybe we'll get rid of the Satoon. I want to keep this this one to see how that works out. Because that sounds pretty powerful. That's a nice tree drop. We'll take it. So he costs five. Uh, Alright. That's a nice two drop as well. He doesn't do anything. So let's get started. Craft a custom mushroom potion. Alright. So he just gets a card. Something he can try to use against us. So the disadvantage that he's got is that... Oh man, this is so powerful. We're gonna grab that, of course. Out comes the Satoon. And the Caller. Uh, the, the Twilight Elder that's gonna buff it up. And then here is Chromagus as well. Ah, oh, holy crap. You need a little bit of luck, but um, okay. <laughs> Freeze a random enemy minion. All right. Here is uh, Satoon number two. Satoon number three. <laughs> My God, we're gonna uh, put this um, here, maybe. Or maybe we'll just have him become a taunt. So that protects normally this Twilight Eldar, who is going to keep buffing those guys up. Uh, no need to draw a card at this point. 8-8. Eight, eight. So good. So crazy. Strange targets. And here again now. Chromagus giving me, well, two mortal coils. It's not that great, but we could go like this. Get plenty of damage here. And that brings... Oh, man, that's, that is nice. There we go. Mush Huckster Max defeated in no time. Um... Start with an extra mana crystal. I think you, you could also... Uh, these are the general ones I think you've got. So passive enemy minions cost one more. I think it's not bad. I think it's pretty powerful to delay what the enemies can do. But in this build, crystal gem makes more, se more sense because I just get to the five drops more quickly. So we're gonna take that. And then you've got totem of the dead. Uh, we're, you need to basically draw for that for the death rattles. Huge hands, uh, another Chromagus, two Twilight Drakes. I'm not sure if that's great. We've got the Doom Caller as well for the Satoon. So, we'll, I mean, it's the same in the values here, and it's just more Satoon buffing. So, we'll take it. Its deadly spores can kill an adventure instantly. Hero power, summon an extremely deadly spore. Okay, haven't come across this one yet, so we'll see how it works out. Some booby trapping stuff. Okay. Gul'dan versus Ixlid. Your ah. soul shall be mine. Obviously, <laughs> turn <Why>? one. <coughs> turn one. Why? Horn of Scenarius. That's gonna be interesting. Um, then I think at three we could use that just to get an extra drop in, and then we'll we'll just keep the Chromagus. Um. I don't know, maybe we should have dug maybe like for like a spell or something like that. But we'll see how it works out. This is definitely nice. Horn of Scenarius, turn one. What do we get on the field? I will take uh, two Divine Shields. Battle Cry, unfortunately, it hasn't triggered. And then a 6-6 six, six tune. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you very much. 
He's got two one ones that come up. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, we'll just go straight for the face. Summon an extremely deadly spore. Okay, let's see how that works. But I've got a 7-7 on the on the board. <laughs> and it's turn 2. Poisonous. Okay. So that's it. That's that was that was the, the challenge, I guess. Alright, let's just finish this guy off with the Sithun. Oh, that is so lucky to get that horn of scenarios turn one. That was an easier victory than what we're used to. Uh, next up, Dread Tomb Guard. That's interesting. We've got some more spells. Dark Bomb, Defile, and Cataclysm. Discard your hand. Ouch. Hunt Creeper, Imp Master, and an Implosion. Implosion is a really good card. Couple of early game drops. Would that be good? Or some early game... But this is definitely a two, feels lots like a two-handed sword. We could go with this. Doom guards. It's really powerful. Void caller. Really situational as well. So I'm just gonna take the swarm one. Not sure if there was like a really good choice here. Uh, trapped room. Tread carefully. Don't touch anything. Okay. Can't say that I remember this either. So let's see what this one is about. Gul'dan versus a trapped room. Your soul shall be mine. So now we are going to get rid of these two. The tree drop will keep that. Second turn, that should be okay. Uh, and then a mortal coil. All right, and then let's see what his hero power is all about. Oh, what the hell? That's lots of secrets. That's interesting. Whenever you reveal a secret, summon a tree tree saw blade. Okay. So we may actually want to delay until I get like some five drops out or something. Because this is uh, interesting. Let's at least do this first. Let's see what kind of... Uh, here comes a snipe. And then he summons a tree tree because of that. He does summon a 3-3 because of that. Okay. So, we can get rid of that normally with like Life Drain uh, and or Mortal Coil. Uh, but if he has Counter Spell, that's gonna be less good. But no matter what you do, I think we'll just do this here. So, that's not another snipe. And I'm actually okay if this guy runs in here. Because now I'm at 5 and I can summon the Doom Caller if I want to as well. Which I think is gonna be my move. I uh, will sacrifice this. Doesn't matter. Oh, here comes the secret. Here's a noble sacrifice. Holy crap. Okay. Alright. But now there should not be anything on a spawn. So we'll take that. We'll kill that. And now let's see how he reacts to this. Okay, lots of secrets again. The danger, something like a freezing trap of course. The Satoon is now 8. That's a decent amount of damage. Should I risk that? I think I should, to be honest. Yeah, let's let's start with this. Let's see what happens. Just as powerful as I can. Okay, he becomes immune. Summons more stuff. Oh, that's quite deadly. Another 3-3 three, three coming in. Let's do this if we can. After your opponent... Ah, oh, holy crap. Alright, so... That is gonna cost me the Satoon. But, alright. 
we still have, I think, board advantage. Huh. Very interesting one. Uh, yeah, I think uh, this makes most sense. Friendly minion dies. We'll take that. And I will take this. Job done. Nice to see the Chromagus. Nice to see this. Okay, we'll we'll take it. That has helped me so much. Horn of Scenarius. That is crazy. He'll want to get rid of that because it's going to double all my cards. That's a 10 10 tune now. Um, do I sacrifice this one? Oh, now it's 5-5. Five, five. I do get two implosions. Implosion is pretty good. We'll do that. Then we'll drain some life. Then we'll start our attack here. What does this do? Misdirection. Ouch. No, it... Mm. Is it... He's gone. Damn it. <laughs> <coughs> Don't kill it. Oh man, this is... That was a mistake. Luckily, my Satoon is becoming pretty big. Um, let's do a corruption. Let's see if we can finally hit this guy. And... What? What? One by one. All right, not easy. <laughs> My God. What could you do here for a tactic? He just keeps playing secrets. Well, you gotta survive, that's for sure. Luckily, we got lots of big guys. That should help. Uh, let's use this here. I think. Yeah, I think that makes most sense. Uh, out comes the counter spell, of course. Um. Ah, my god. And more triggers. Is my seal. Of course. Is my seal. Now, luckily, I can normally get rid of you. Nope, not anymore. Holy crap, I need my Satoon. It's, uh, thank God, he shows up. So let's do this. That's lucky. That's lucky that it's like individual attacks. Keep going. Keep going. All right. We'll take it. Um, we'll dig. What? We'll turn Satoon in the... Um, in the tank. Like that. Okay, all right. You could you could easily lose this. More secrets, which is quite annoying. Uh, let's hope that it's nothing too annoying. Let's see. Uh oh. Ah oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. I got this. Uh, do I use the hellfire? I think I do. We definitely dig first. Alright, that's okay. We use the hellfire. And we take this. Nine more cards. There should be another stone in there. For the win, I hope. That's now a 5-5, five five, which is quite annoying. Uh... Yeah. Symphony of terror uh, yes. I, I think I'll want the patience here. He's now at 21. Which is good. Out come the secrets again. 
we gotta kill that now. Uh, so we will. Let's hope he doesn't come back. No. An attack to the face. What does that do? Nothing. Not a copy? Huh. Okay. Well, I actually came out on top on this one. Can I kill him? Seven? Seven damage? Maybe? Let's try it. Phew! That was the trapped room! Holy crap! That was fun though! That was that was challenging and fun. Thank you, Sedun, for saving me. Next treasure. Fill your board with legendary mil minions. Fully heal your hero. Discover a legendary weapon and equip each minion randomly chooses a side on... No, we're not gonna... I think that wish would then be the best here from... Maybe a legendary weapon can potentially be cool as well. But I think basically that's what I'll take. Choose your loot. Uh, sacrifice. What is doom? Dark bargain. No. Huge again, I think. Yeah. Jaraxxus. Molten giant. That. And this is... If your deck has no spells. Duplicates. It has plenty of duplicates. And then a siphon soul. We'll take the huge hand here. You must be wearing the darkness. This is why kobolds be keeping candles. Okay. I haven't played against him either. Summon a 5 hero power. Summon a 5-5 five five dark spawn. Uh, okay. If I can, if I can last long enough... I think that should be possible. So every turn is gonna do that? Uh, I think so. So I'm gonna take this hand. It's just, I think, uh, I think I've got little choice. Thank you. I'll just play something to get something on the deck. Oh, destroy all dark spawns. Oh, I've seen that fight somewhere. So we'll do this. Uh, and turn. That should allow me to get to turn 5. Normally. That's slightly more annoying, but we can we can deal with that. So next we'll get some more. Some more of this. We'll risk this one. Let's see what he does with it. And then we'll kill that. Now he does have 10 damage, so we're definitely killing him. Uh, so we'll do this. And then I think we'll do this and a dig. Oh, destroy your hero, replace it with your axis. So just in case at the tail end, we can try that. He does have lots of HP. But now we're gonna put this up. Ah, oh, that's a good shadow word. Pain, of course. Uh, do I kill it? That's the real question. Hmm. Do I kill it? So, no doubt about this. We'll play that. I think I risk this. Getting control. Oh, he plays a secret. Oh, all right. That's okay. That's still okay. We now have seven nine on the board, which Let can take care of that. Uh, that's more annoying. Three damage to all characters. It's not enough. We'll do this. Yeah, we'll start with this. Cards you draw from your hero power cost zero. Hmm. That's not so bad. Then we'll kill you. Put this guy up. We'll do this. And we'll hero power a card. Okay. Okay. We still have this one. This uh, luminous candle ready. He has seven mana though. Yeah. That was dangerous. 
And now we can stay in control pretty easily. So... Oh, outcome all the secrets as well. Why the hell not? God damn cheater. Let's do that. Let's do that. We gotta do this, I think. Becomes immune. Okay. Even better that than losing the Divine Shield here. 5-5 five, five Dark Spawn. So we buy and destroy all minions. Okay. Alright. Um, or do I, I start with the dig, I think, just in case. I will do this. I will do this. So it's not great going great but I should have a decent amount of strong cards left in the deck now that's a 5-5 five, five. battle cry alright so do I use him right now I, 11 I think I do let's do it ok very nice that's still okay. Uh, digging or... I think I should dig here. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's hope he can't keep up with the secrets here anymore. So that's alright. Ah, uh, of course. Of course Shadow World Pain was still available. In his own deck, very nice. Uh, so, we'll go like Do this. Do I kill it? I think it's worth it. I got this. Dig. Uh, that's that's definitely pretty good. This and this. Dawn is now at 12. That's okay. Ah, oh, that's annoying, but alright. Draw 3 cards, gain 6 armor. How many? 12, 14, that's alright. <clears throat> Potion of Madness. Okay, alright. Still sort of alright with this. Uh, well, we can't leave that. Let that go to waste. So I'm thinking... Let's see if we need to adapt something about this. So another Satoon. This and an 8-8. I'll take it. Do we Implosion? Do we Corruption? Do we... We'll do this. Maybe I should. Now he's gonna begins. normally. Flee screaming. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do this. Thank you. Done. To the face. I'll keep the corruption. Just in case he summons something that, that's really a problem. What do you do with that five? Oh, no. No, no. No, my god. Now he mind controls Satoon. Which is why I need the corruption, I think. I think. We'll do this. We'll do corruption. Uh we'll do you. Do you hear its call? We'll do. Hmm. We wait. Okay, drain life. We'll go straight for the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Do as much damage as I can. And we'll do an implosion. Three. That's okay. Alright. Let's see what's next. Oh, it's 15-15. Oh boy, this is... This is really hard, to be honest. Uh, these final bosses. Now he's gonna mind control again. Let's hope that that's it then. When it comes to the mind controls... 
I fill your board with legendary minions and fully heal your hero. Okay, and I can kill just it's about coming. kill that. Do I do this? I do this. I'm I'm going to do this. Uh, definitely that as well. And this. Then this. So we've got. What is this one? Hmm. Death Rail. Go dormant. Play four cards in a turn to revive this minion. Minion. Oh, okay. Black Knight. Nice 15 15. So let's hope that he doesn't have any more mind controls. And then I think we've got a good chance here for the first time. Let me change your mind. <clears throat> Okay, alright, still alright. Maybe he's got like some full destruction stuff, of course, uh, which can be more annoying. How much damage does he have on the field? Decent amount, so we will want to take care of at least some of it. But I think 15 to the face here makes lots of sense. Considering he hasn't done much, we're gonna actually use the tune. Come on, keep boxing. Feels like boxing to me. That's pretty good. Then I think we'll just death rattle this baby. No. Oh. It's revived. That's interesting. Um, whenever you're in the guy. Um, yep. Yeah. Just more poor presence. And that gives me. Holy crap, that's nice. Whenever this attacks, add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. <laughs> Choose a friendly minion, summon a 1 1 copy of it. Alright, something we should test. But I feel. Mm, here comes the secret against Psychic Stream. Oh, that's. God damn it. Okay, Mr. Caller comes up next. This is turning out. I'm a pretty long battle. Choose a minion. Some. Let's try that. Let's see if real? that if he does it twice. Ah. No, he doesn't. All right. Okay. What else have you got? A five-five. Four cards, ten cards. So I'm at the advantage here. 3-3, three, three, that's okay. That's all doable, I think. Okay. Of course, he can put up all those darkness cards as well if he wants to. Which is a bit more annoying. Is face the place. Oh no. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, well, you had you have to go through some of that stuff anyway, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do the drain life on you. Um and we still have a hellfire ready as well if we need to. Why doesn't this guy revive when you play for? Oh in a turn. Okay, gotcha. So another darkness. My God! So I think we're we're just gonna elf fire this puppy now. What's coming out here? Whenever this attacks at, okay, we'll take that. We'll do this, and then we've got a satoon that's at 16. So that that should help again. That should be okay. Uh, they can't attack him, so that's good. It's 10 damage, so this does get dangerous. He doesn't have any more cards. So we are coming out with Stoon. Kill him, please. Thank you. Get me a card. Uh, that's not bad. Jaraxxus. 416. I think it's best to get the board presence up. So let's do that first. 
That's okay. What are your cards? Destroy. Oh my god. He resets again. Luckily I do have you. So I will take it. We'll do. I should have drawn a card maybe. But now we've got a 7, 9, a 5, 3. So this gets killed for the divine shields. Which is definitely okay. My god. I thought I was going to get double cards. Guess not. Uh, I'll do double cards, I think. Or do I play Jaraxxus? Let's try that. And he's got three damage, and then this summons a 6 6 Infernal. Okay. Alright, so I get double cards, I get 6-6 six, six Infernals, where he summons 5-5s. Five Should again give me the advantage. Um, just don't... Alright, okay, I guess. Ah, <coughs> oh, for the win! Thank you, Chromagus! Let's get 17 damage up on the board, and then let's get another 17, 18 damage on the board. <laughs> Victory! And there we go! First uh, journey, that uh, solo journey that I that I try to record and I actually make it and it's with the Warlock, a very powerful Satoon deck. So this is pretty cool. What's my reward? What? Nobody is walking away with cobalt treasures! Dungeon cleared with the... Um, Okay. That's it. That's it. So I've done this dungeon run. I'm quickly gonna check, but I'm assuming that I could keep going. And then if I choose... So, never seen being the burglar before, but alright. And I... I have done it with the Warlock, but that's it. So, this is very interesting to me, personally. Um, really cool challenge that you can now do. Uh, you don't actually need any cards or decks for that in Hearthstone. And uh, you can just, you know, keep doing that whenever you want. Uh, do some, earn some gold on the side. And then I think I can play some arenas too. Alright, let's see if we can get back into some Hearthstone. For now, thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you all next time.